Okay, now that we are out of Jenga Town, it's now thunderstorming. Uh, there was another shrine down this way that I kind of wanted to go to. Uh, but let's talk to Pen first. Get incredibly distracted still and just not even go to the depths in the slightest. Also, I think someone here had a quest. It was you. Uh... How long are they going to stay there? They may have spotted us spying on them from the cliff. What should I do if they come all the way up here? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Hmm. I've been preoccupied with the monsters that have settled the North Akala Beach uh, below the cliff. Thinking about what would happen if they came up to the stable has me worried. I can't even focus on my work. Uh... I've been trying to find someone to go drive them off, but everyone uh, I've asked has refused to help. It seems that kind of skill and confidence is in short supply. Anyway, you see the big tree over there? Uh, if you look uh, down over the cliff uh, there, you can probably see the monsters. It's It's an intimidating sight, to be sure. Mm. Everyone keeps saying not to worry. They won't come up all the way to the stable, but I'm not so sure. I don't, think, uh, I don't really think uh, I'll be able to relax until those monsters are, are gone for good. Also, there should be a well around here. Also, you. Where do you need to go, little fella? Great. What are the torches for? I don't, I don't really know why there's torches there. East Oculus Stable Well. Oh boy, more rock pummeling. There's a goddess statue down here? Why? Wait. The other shrines are scattered across the world. Uh, return to me once you have claimed four lights of blessing or four sages will. Okay, so sages will are just extra lights of blessing. Well, now we know what those are for. Why is... It just here that there's a, a goddess statue down this well. There's no reason for a goddess statue to be down here. I guess because there technically really wasn't one in this area, but also now there was one in this area. It's it's you. It's the Spring of Power goddess statue. It's right over here. Sure, I suppose. Um. All right, Pen. What do you have to say? <clears throat> oh, partner, you're here. I should have known you come to come to this stable too. Anyone with a beak for sniffing out news can tell this place has potential. A god of horses, suspicious events at, at the nearby laboratory. Um, we could ink a week's worth of issues about the goings on of this place alone. Huh. But I have bad news. And the headline is, no leads on the princess at this stable. No chirps, no wobbles, nothing. Pains me to leave knowing how many articles I could have hatched here. There's nothing to do but take wing and head for another stable. The day is young, who knows? If I hurry, maybe I'll have something uh, ready for the uh, evening edition. Anyway, off I go. Ah! So long! Alright, bye. Uh, I think he did say there was a, the horse god was around here somewhere, if I remember correctly. I just don't remember where. I've also got you to deal with. It was a mistake coming to Akala because now I'm doing everything over here and not doing anything I wanted to do today. Honestly, that should just be enough. Let's put a rock in front of this. That should just make it stay up. I don't see why it wouldn't.
quadruple. <laughs> Energizing seafood rice balls. Ah! Oh. I've also been curious about down here, too. Like, this whole thing. There used to be a shrine quest down here. Now there is just a shrine down there. Um... Maybe the horse god could be up there? That is definitely Robbie's place. I do see the Yiga symbol on it. Down we go. That's the best way to do this. What are you doing? No, I don't want to get into a fight right now. Thimble. Go in a straight line. We're almost there. Hey, we made it. Now you're going to be left behind, I think, because I want to go this way. And you have a towing, towing harness on. And I think I'm just going to hijack another horse. And just not register it so it's just easier to move around. <laughs> You're mine now. And we're off. <laughs> on a new horse. I wanted to go this way because I saw another shrine over here. Somewhere over here. Unless it was one I had already completed and I didn't notice. So this area is pretty. There's a Korok right here. a big depth hole. That's that hole. Huh. Alright. Well, you served me well. I'm just gonna glide. I don't know where that shrine I saw went. I probably should have marked it on the map. Too bad. It's, it's not going to fool me. I'm not not going to do that right now. Uh, where is this? Oh, right on top of this. It just didn't even show up before. Alright, can we not with the Octorok? Can you drop some eyeballs? I'm gonna need some Octorok eyeballs for upgrades, you know? There we go. Octorok eyeball. This can, o uh, can only be obtained from an Octorok type enemy. Its nature is to focus on a moving object. Attach it to get homing. I'm hoping that this game will do something. I know there's a bunch of stuff that could be like Minecraft related in this game. Oh my god. Hold that thought. Bunch of stuff that could be Minecraft related in this game, but I'm hoping there's some sort of like thing you can get that increases the like the drop chance of enemy stuff, like Minecraft's looting. Uh, are these, like, similar to the pirates that are supposed to be at Lurlin Village right now? Because <laughs> that's a place I want to go to eventually. Oh, there's another Korok puzzle right here. It's kind of crazy to see, like... 
actual pirate ships. Do the swirly thing. Uh... No. Bonk. So I don't know if they were talking about, like, the beach beach or the pirate ships. I think she was talking about the pirate ships. And, like, I kind of want to go. I did remember the other thing that I wanted to do, which I will remember to do after this. Also, a thing about Tulin's gust noise. I said it was similar to Dart Dartrix's cry from Pokemon. Apparently, it's a reference to Twilight Princess. That there is uh, when you would like blow on grass in Twilight Princess to call like an eagle or something. It makes a very similar noise to this. Well, let's fight some pirates, I guess. <laughs> Occupiers of Oculus Sea, monster forces. This is cool. Oh, you got some armor. It's good thing I have a rock. Ow, I'm dead immediately. You're just, uh, getting beat up. Let's see another shrine over there. Uh, give me that. Give me that. Oh, this man has taken notice. Steel Lizal Bow. Uh. Drop the soldier's bow. Probably shouldn't use this. That. Uh, I need to heal. I need, like, a bunch of regular meals. Whatever. Maybe this will let me be sneaky to the other ones? Seeing if I could, like, go below deck at all, but I don't think I can. We're gonna eyeball these. Oh, there's a boss bokoblin over there. Can I press the right button? Oh, now they all see me. God, he's got a big arm. Let's break this on this guy. Uh, I guess let's use Silver Boko on this. I 
I don't know how many fairies I have. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. I uh, I jumped backwards there. At least I saw I had at least one more fairy. I don't know how much more. Oh, please let me jump backwards. Oh, I, how did I not see this? Giant iron ball. Absolutely put this on a... Royal Halberd, this please. What is this, though? Uh, we have not encountered whatever Zonai device that is. I don't know what it is. So we're not gonna bother. That's a cannon, that's not what I wanted. I have a cannon shield already. I just quickly want this rocket. Goblins before I even show up. Ow! Can Maybe it's because I haven't played this game in a week, but my reaction time is so goddamn slow. Can we fucking stop? I swear to you, I'm I'm pressing like jump to the side. Can we stop with this? I will go through my whole apple supply. Give me, give me a sword. Or like a better spear. There we go. Monster forces defeated. Give me all of this. Give me my Pikmin horn. I was hoping that would cause, like, an updraft. There's no updraft from that. Climb the ladder, Link? What is our reward for doing all of that? Blue Hinox Hammer. A uh, hammer with, or a claymore with a blue Hinox horn on it. Uh, drop this. Uh, that's good for me. Uh, we've got some shrines in some places. Uh, this, I can't even, like, see properly over there because of the fog, but, like... Did, like, some of this, like, stay... What I think happened is that this thing was, like, out in the sea, but, like, it got cut in half and flooded, and, like, part of it's in the sky now. I also feel like we should do th the maze. But I don't want to do everything up here immediately. However, I'm already here, so I feel like I should, even though I wanted to go to the depths today, and it's been two hours now. 
What? You defeated every last one of them? Hold on a second. It's not that I don't believe you, but I need to check for myself. It's the only way for me to sleep at night. You weren't kidding! I can't believe it! There were so many monsters before, but now they're all gone! <laughs> well, you're just amazing. I'm sorry. I'm just so surprised. I mean, you don't look all that strong. But you've been such a huge help. I can already feel the stress uh, those monsters caused leaving my body. Thank you. Hey, that reminds me. Uh, do you have a Pony Points card? Mm. Let me just add two points for you to show my thanks. Hey, yo, two free Pony Points for that? Uh. I have to give you this, too. Thanks for the carrot. Oh. There's, supposed, uh, there's uh, supposedly a favorite uh, of the horse god, Melania. He lives a short distance away from the stable, in fact. I planned to ask him to help uh, with the monsters, and I was going to give it to him as a gift. But now that the monsters have been handled, I'll give it to you instead. A really valuable carrot. It doesn't grow around here. Be careful not to accidentally eat it. Uh. Anyway, I should go back to work. Thanks for all your help. Yo. Well, I'm going up here. <laughs> Who needs to go to the depths? Who needs to talk to Robbie? Who needs to do any of that? We need to go fight the Yiga clan and get distracted by everything. I just need to go in a direction and and go is is the plan. His plans are meant to be broken. I see this moblin and I want to beat the moblin up. For absolutely no reason other than to do it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, give me all that delicious part stuff. Uh, I'm too afraid to talk to you because you're absolutely a Yiga Clan person. Addison, you are in enemy territory right now. What the hell are you doing? start thunderstorming and it's gonna be really annoying. I did not notice what kind of piece of wood this was until, uh, until I turned it. Well now this is really annoying. Uh, what do I have equipped here? This is fine. What? Uh, then if I just take this rock... I don't see why this wouldn't work. must have worn, like, a stealth potion or something to not be seen by the Yiga clan. Or the Yiga clan does not see him as a threat. Whatsoever. Also, my phone is, like, randomly dying. <laughs> Rapid meaty rice balls. I still need to use Muddle Buds. I forget about them. You know what? I'm gonna use one on the year clan. Oh, that was sick, actually. Wait. That was sick. I gotta get, like, a screenshot of that. That hit... Unless, like, that umbrella's like a lightning rod or something. It, like, hit directly on top of the umbrella. That was awesome. It's not really gonna do much. Because I wasn't in Pro HUD. And it's going to show, like, other stuff. <laughs> I just like the fucking tiny tooling that runs around. See, that was also cool. Take another video of that. Try and get the perfect screenshot from that. Anyway... What did you do to Cherry? Cherry? They even changed the door? What is it? 
Wait, you? Sure. It's Link! Get ready for battle! <laughs> what if I just stay out here and you all get electrocuted? Okay, I guess you won't. Oh, now they're getting electrocuted. But, like, they're dead. Now it doesn't matter. This is ridiculous! <laughs> he looks very funny. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll make your little uniforms without any more complaints, I swear. Hold up. Hey. Hey, Superstar, you're not with the Ega Clan, are you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. That's... that's fantastic! I've been cooped up here forever. The name's Kanba. I got an act for style and, a nim and nimble digits I need to spin for my ideas into reality. Alas, that pure talent is where the Giga Clan kidnapped me to force me to make their outfits for them. If I ever uh, sew one of those tacky rags again, I'll be s I'll, uh, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Yiga armor I just finished. Burn it, toss it, do whatever you want, just get it away from me. Armor is applied to members of the Yiga Clan. Defensive parts are minimized for silence, so it's lacking in protection. The look may lack, uh, may lack, but my tailoring is sublime. If you wore the whole set, you'd fit right in with the Yiga Clan. <laughs> Just got an idea. Eventually. On that note, I gotta hurry out of here before they get back. Don't worry. Uh, I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. See you around. Thanks for the save. Uh, let me organize my set. Wherever it is. I am now a Yiga! Yiga Link! <laughs> Which is really cool looking. I had seen a picture on Twitter. And uh, people uh, talk to you differently if you're wearing the whole Yiga Clan set. And if you talk to the, the guy, I forget his name off the top of my head. Uh, but, like, Impa's other assistant in Kakariko Village, and you talk to him with the Yiga Clan set on, he says something along the lines of, Link, I don't know if you're trying to make a joke, but wearing that is in very poor taste. <laughs> because it's the guy who had his wife murdered by the Yiga Clan. <laughs> and you just wear it in front of him. I feel this is an ancient blade. It's not. It's just something even better. Holy shit. Robbie reverse engineered the, a travel medallion to make this prototype version, but it's unusable in its current state because it's missing some important data. The travel medallion! <laughs> Originally, you'd get the travel medallion in Breath of the Wild at the end of this maze. But it's here! <laughs> For anyone who didn't get Breath of the Wild's DLC, you could go here and get the Travel Medallion, which is it's its own usable waypoint. If you if like you can only teleport to shrines and towers, but say I place this like right here and then I left and I'd be able to teleport right back here with the Travel Medallion. That's fucking delicious. We can't use it yet, but that is delicious. That is going to make exploring so much fun, more fun for me. Random piece of wood. I'm still in Pro Hood. Uh, I can't, like, set this on fire because it's fucking raining, because of course it is. So. Let's do that. <laughs> Anything else up here? I guess they just did that so you couldn't enter this place from above. Come on. What the hell happened to Cherry? She's not here anymore. Is there a Korok on top of this? There has to be. No, but it's a little frog in a, in a beach chair with the umbrella. Which is also really funny. 
Let me shoot this. That doesn't matter. Uh, other than Cherry not being here for some reason, uh, the place is pretty much identical to what it was in Breath of the Wild. But now I have a perfect opportunity to finally go talk to Robbie. So that way, we can uh, get this travel medallion thing working. I was looking, is there like anything to read? Yes, there is. We've now taken over the Sheikah lab and filled out the map with locations of our hideout and branches. The lab is located near uh, a local stable. It's not far from Terrytown, which is impacted by falling Zonai ruins and parts. Suffice it to say, I think both these locations will be suitable for procuring supplies and intel. Though we haven't uh, yet received any word from Zelda, there have been many reported sightings of her swordsman Link. His days are numbered, though, as, a, as the Surface Division uh, has set up a network of their terrifying banana traps. I'm embarrassed to say I've fallen for one myself. Tempting though it may be. <laughs> Try not to pick up any bananas off the road. <laughs> it's funny that the Yiga clan are so addicted to bananas they fall for their own banana traps. Well, this was very good. This is a Korok puzzle. Um, I have a feeling this is bananas. I didn't mean to eat one. Uh, by the Yiga Clan hideout in Breath of the Wild, there would be these, and you had to fill them with bananas instead of apples. I'm so smart. Alright, before I leave here, there's plenty of other stuff I want to do over here. I would like to do the ma oh, it's like a whole, it's a whole thing to climb up there. Uh, I want to get this shrine. Actually, I could even fly in there. Do I do this now? Because there's a shrine down there. It's like, it's right here. It's, it's, the, I should, I should, right? <laughs> I should totally get distracted for another 45 minutes doing this whole thing instead of actually going to the depths. Let me fix my armor. Because I also want to go to, to the Hateno village for something. As well. But don't mind me, I will just get incredibly distracted all of the time. Well. I may as well go for it. The entirety of the ruins is, like, cut in half and in the sky now. Lombe Labyrinth Island. Or Lombe. This is music I haven't heard in a while. You never know what the thumbnail is going to be. There's a bow down there. So, I cannot guarantee I will find every chest in here. Uh, it's been a while, and I don't even remember how to get through these ruins normally. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go in there. There's a shrine. It's like two parts ruins. Uh, I do not remember, I legit do not remember the way through this one. I remember the way through the one up here a little bit, but not any of the other ones. So, I feel like I just cheesed them by going in from the top. Oh, but this whole thing is like completely different with all of the... <laughs> water and stuff now. 
My zonite shield. Uh, honestly, just drop the wooden shield. I wish I remembered my way through. Did it start raining all of a sudden? Oh, it sure did. I want to make sure that you don't climb out of here. Uh, if I take a look at this, there is, like, gloom around... Yeah, I need to get, like, over around here or something. That's right. I think it's, like, right here. Which you could only get to from above. Actually, Ascend is an ability that exists. <laughs> Wait a second. This might be, like, a lot better to go through with Ascend. Because in theory, it should be right here. It is not. There's a book? Research log day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch, and it will invade the body in the blink of an eye. It was a wise uh, decision to send Taru home, allowing him to continue our trek uh, in his condition may have been proven fatal. But, it was exact, uh, but what exactly is this strange gloom? More importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsman who de uh, delved beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. It's from the Zonai survey team. <clears throat> who put you here? use a different bow. That's, like, really bad. But... Yeah, ha yeah, let's go back. I really wish I remembered this. Could be here? Yeah, here we go. I remember there was always like calamity goop. Oh, this is one of these, never mind. Uh, there was always, like, calamity goop around, like, anything important. We have a strong Zonite sword. Uh... Honestly, drop this one. This one's a regular Zonite sword. If I remember correctly. Nope, this is a strong Zonite sword, too. Never mind. Uh, drop the regular Zonite sword, then. Strong Zonite shield. Get rid of the baby one. I don't think this is going to do anything. Nope, never mind. Perfect. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Where was the entrance to this? Just to make me happy. Oh, also, I remember this too, actually. Because there was also a secret in there. Oh, there's like a series of like nuts to get here. See, I was close. I was I stopped over here. It was just a little bit farther down. There's a whole bunch of nuts and acorns pointing the direction of where I needed to go. Uh, ooh. Strong Zonite Longsword. I don't think we've had a longsword. 
Unless that was the- unless that's the two-handed weapon. Too many things. Not enough space. Never enough space. Yeah, it's the two-handed weapon. Okay. I remember there used to be like a great flame blade or something in one of these. Well, it's nice that you can still cheese the maze. It's just that now there's a second one in the sky. Day three. We have, haven't didn't find day one. Too bad. Uh, my searching has finally led me to the Zonai Relic. I must hurry back and tell Taru all about it. Though I must admit, my curiosity remains piqued. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. For instance, uh, I can see a lower level from this room. As how is one supposed to reach it? Oh, yeah, this is, uh, not open. Uh, this might open it. Uh, I think what this is gonna do is that it's gonna activate the gust of wind that used to be down here. And, uh, go up. You get a blessing, though. Rara's blessing. Ikashuk Shrine. Large Zonite Charge? What do you got in here? Large Zonite Charge. It just seems to be what's in these. So, let's open this up. Interesting that, like, Zonai stuff is in these ruins now. For you who have conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, ruler of dragons, have unlocked a door. Find it in the south side of the labyrinth of the sky. Yep, here we go. So... This is a Calamity Ganon room, isn't it? You used to come down here and... There used to be like a shit ton of uh... A shit ton of Guardians, which was really, really funny. Uh, for first time players. But now we got Clam... Or we got a... Uh, we got Phantom Ganon. I don't know if I said Calamity Ganon or what. I'm down to fight you again. <laughs> I have a fucking scythe, dude. Oh, he's got a fucking gloom club now. Don't mind me, just dodging the wrong way because my reaction time is absolute shit all of a sudden. <laughs> he hasn't had a chance against me and my apples. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Poke him! <laughs> oh, you're not even, like, doing half health, dude. What happened, Ganon? You lost your fucking touch? I'll take a picture of your club right in front of you. Gloom Club. A thick... Or a metal... Thick. A metal stick... Filled with madness and symbolic of doom. Its uh, forceful strike can smash an object to pieces. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. And another Demon's King King bow. I actually get to pass up on the bow because I don't need it. Uh, but the gloom club. Too many weapons to hold on to. Not enough space. So there is a chest down here. Where'd it go? Hey, uh, this is literally editing me. I am editing this episode right now. And just so you know, I say... So there is a chest down here. Where'd it go? I, I just said that. You just heard me say that, right? And I'm not crazy because I have video proof if we rewind time and go back to when I dropped down here. Game. 
in room, isn't it? You used to come down here. You see? Right there! Right there, there's a chest! Where'd the chest go? I don't know what was in the chest because it's not there anymore! I, I knew I wasn't crazy and I just had to make sure that you know that I'm not crazy because I saw a chest down here and the chest just stopped being there. Like... So there was a chest down here, where'd it go? I don't know where the chest went! Uh, someone tell me what was in there because I hope it wasn't important. I could have sworn I saw a chest when I came down here. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I can get a picture of the Great Eagle Bow? From this fake Tulin? Okay. All the guardians were removed. There's a cave down here. Oh, Bubble Frog! Well, don't mind me. I'm just getting distracted just a little bit. Uh, I need to go back up because I, I could have sworn there was a cave or a, uh, a chest, right? Alright, I guess I'm just hallucinating. If there was a chest, I don't see it anymore. And, like, over here would be where you get the travel medallion. I mean, now there's a cave. There's, like, a cave underneath here, and there's a depth passage, and there's a sky area. Hi, Nox. What the hell are you doing down here? This is the first uh, black Hinox. I don't even know how you got down here. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. That just happened to work out. Uh, let's poke you with this. Alright, well, goodbye, soldier spear. Um... Got this as a regular sword. I'm gonna use that later. <laughs> Improved flurry rush, you say? <laughs> Indeed. He's doing the, the roly poly move. He has like a roly poly move. I remember that. I have a bunch of these. Just I need to like fuse a bunch of things again. I swear to you, I'm I'm backing up. Like I swear to you, I'm backing up. I'm doing the move. I swear to you. I feel like that was my last fairy. Seared prime steak. Black Hinox horn. A horn wrapped in dangerous debris. It's easy uh, to work with and greatly increases uh, the attack power of a weapon when attached. Roasted bird drumstick. Royal bow. It's not decayed. In the past, the King of Hyrule presented this bow to only the most talented archers in the land. Its combat capabilities are impressive, as it is extravagant design. And a royal claymore. So where the hell does this lead? So like like or something over here. Indubitably. <laughs> I will take also your extra stuff. Thanks for the rock salt. Oh my god, a white horriblin. Or silver. You know what I mean. 
You're messing with me, huh? You're messing with me. My scythe is gonna break on you. Yep. Silver Horriblin Horn. A curved horn with an extremely hard tip. Attached to a weapon to vastly increase his attack power. <sighs> we got a chest here. I need to spend some time fusing again. All of my good weapons are gone. Yep. Royal Halberd Durability up. Uh... For now, I'm dropping the rock hammer. I'll figure everything out when I, you know, get back to that. Alright, so let's fuse some things, shall we? We have strong Zonite swords. Uh, let's get... Soldier Construct Horn. Do that. Get a 36 attack weapon with that. Uh, we have... Not much in the way of construct stuff. A 37 attack weapon with that. We have Royal Broadsword. We're gonna use some good boy stuff here. We got Silver Bokoblin Horn. Get that. Royal Broadsword. Uh, I kinda want to use one of these ancient blades. Uh, it says it's too small to build as a weapon, but can be used as an arrowhead. Okay, so no, this is just how you get ancient arrows. You can't attach these to weapons. Just out of curiosity, though. Well, it says that I can. No, it definitely works. It definitely works. It gave you a 60 weapon. Then why does it say it can't? Well, that's really cool. Freaking ancient sword from that. Uh, we have Gliok Flamehorn. It kind of looks like a scepter. Oh, it kind of is. It's kind of like a fire sword now. Maybe that wasn't the best idea, but I don't know. It's a 40 attack power thing that sets things on fire, so why the hell not, you know? Uh, long sword... Uh, I kind of want to fuse one of these to this and see what it's going to do. <laughs> it still looks dope, and that makes it another 60 power thing. Now, I have an idea. Gloom Club? Ancient Blade? I now have a 100 attack power weapon in my inventory. Uh, get the Stalnox Horn. Get that. Royal Claymore. Uh, let's do Black Moblin Horn for that. Uh, Gnarled Long Stick. I want something that's a little bit weaker to use on weaker enemies, so this will be that. And same with the Halberd here. Uh, we will use just another black book hoblin horn. All right. Our inventory is now decked out again. I'm not really going to mess with the gloom spear. I just wanted to try and get an 100 attack power weapon <laughs> in my inventory because I thought it would be funny. Over you. <laughs> Okay. 
sure. Switch my shield. Do we need to use this? Alright, you're not gonna come down, so. The everybody one two switch trailer dropped. It did an hour ago. Uh, I don't want to take a look at it on stream, but it's funny that it's there. Actually, I forgot about the Knight's Claymore. We need to attach something to this. Uh, we'll do this too. Like, I'm not even gonna get everybody 1-2 switch. It's just funny, yeah. Well, thank God there's more fairies in here, because I, God knows I need them. Yeah, I ran out of fairies. Please come back. Well, that's not going to get them back. Are you going to... Why are you so high up? I can't get you. Well, now you're just gone. Uh, I think we can use this to break. Yes, we can. It's just giving me flint, though. We don't need that. Unless this trailer is, like, incredibly good. And, like, it shows new things. Like, we did see stuff on the back of the box that someone had leaked. That it's got, like, 100 player something. Because, like, it's supposed to be, like, a Jackbox kind of game. Stop that. <laughs> Or, like, you can connect your phone to play the minigames. So maybe it would be good to stream. However, I'm a small creator that's probably not going to get a massive group together with this. Is this just a cave that connects the, the underneath of... Yes, it is. It's out here. It connects this area that I was going to go to originally to the underneath of here. But I wouldn't have been able to go up any... Actually, no, I would have been able to. No, that would have been huge brain cheese, actually. I would have been able to go underneath here, and then when I got back into the room where, where Phantom Ganon was, I'd be able to swoosh up to where the shrine was and skip the entire maze itself. <laughs> well, I guess I'll do this now. Rassy whack. <laughs> Flotational brilliance. Oh, we get to do this again. <laughs> Gotta cut the string. Wait. Yes. Okay, right, well. I'm gonna need you to stop bouncing. Actually, I have a dumb idea on how to do this. dumb idea. Uh, I don't see any chest on top of that. Oh, this thing is attached to it, so I need to hit you. I feel like I could just... This is a... It's gonna fall, right? Yeah, it's gonna sink. So we need to attach you to one of these. Just put 
you in the water. You know what? That also makes sense. That's fine, though. Just, uh, do a little bit of that. Give me a platform that I can stand on. Yep. Magic Scepter. I am incredibly not interested whatsoever in this. So now I gotta get both of these things over. So we need to attach you. That. Get ourselves the fan. That should be fine. Attach the fan the completely wrong way. I love attaching the fan in the com in a completely wrong way. Oh my god! Please. Much better. Whatever. I might just be able to grab it from here. Not quite. Glorious! Why do you make this so difficult for me? I just need to get it over to the other side and it's making it incredibly annoying to do so. Like, attach, attach it like that. Stop it. No, now you're going the opposite direction again. I was hoping that if it would be over here, I'd be able to grab it. Fuck this, hold on. Also, Raw Origin used Sinister Arrow Rain and shot one arrow my way. Thank you very much for the raid. I hope your stream went well, if you were streaming. Thank you very much for following you. I think I very much appreciate you. I just needed to have this extended. Much better. And we got the chest. Everything's fine. Not that many people. It's fine. Raise the raid. Helps out. I guess I'll just build it here. Back here. That might work. Uh, I've got an idea. Who knows if it'll do anything. Uh, but... We need a platform. We need two platforms. We need a big enough platform, so I'm going to attach these two things together to make a platform. We are then going to take a flame emitter, put that right in the center. Actually, wait. A better idea just struck. Hold up. Don't put this in the center. Put this in the... I guess there. Sure. Hold on. 
So I got three more flame emitters. Not what I wanted. Put it right there. Flame emitter. Flame emitter. Then take four balloons. That should hopefully work. Oh, don't cheese me like this, please. Don't cheese me like this, please. That will totally work. Trust me. Oh, damn it. Don't attach the- I don't want you to attach there. I want you to attach on the side. But you're just being... an ass. Good enough. Totally real and totally good enough. I'm going to take my my one big battery that I've got and attach it to the device, which should just power the whole thing. And we're off, right? I don't crash into anything. I really can't see from here. I didn't give myself like a lookout platform, so like. This seems to be working. I'm not crashing into anything. Ah! No, I knew that was gonna happen! Stop, 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 stop. We're fine. We're good. See? No problem. Talk about a talk about a big battery, huh? You know? We're uh, still going up. I'm gonna run out of battery power. I know it. I can't take out another battery here. No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that when I'm gonna run out of fucking power. Um. Jesus Christ, this is high. Uh, I might have to build a second device because it's gonna. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna run out of battery power right now. Oh no, this thing's gonna is gonna crash. Okay. Well, I found Dinroll. <laughs> okay. Well, how high up am I? We're like right there. Come on. Uh, what can I build from here? <laughs> Not a lot. I can build a really small version. Like, it's gonna run out of battery really quick. Actually, I think we're fine. Did I just see a falling stone, too? That's cool. I think we're fine. Well, my sky labyrinth, perfect. Wait, is there low gravity up here? Alright, oh, I didn't mean to do that. There's low gravity up here, that's sick. 
I didn't mean to fall. Uh, because there goes that. Uh, we need to get up even higher. Hold on. I'm going to big brain this real quick. Thanks. All right. How's this gonna go? <laughs> like, how do we cheese something like this? Actually, I saw where the shrine is. It's at the front of the labyrinth. It's over here. Wouldn't I just be able to go there? You can't latch onto this wall. Okay, now I can latch onto a wall. Uh, alright. Yeah, you can't climb this wall for some reason. You can climb this wall just fine. Yo, the freaking zero gravity jumps! Look at how high I'm going! That's awesome. Uh, I've got a little bit of energy. Well, we're up here now. And if I remember correctly, I saw the shrine right at the front of the labyrinth. I'm at the front of the labyrinth, wait. Yeah, we just... Do this. Mugasori Shrine! Courage to jump. Well, we have another zero gravity shrine. <laughs> oh boy. I already see where this is going. Can't even get up here without swoosing. So is this gonna also be zero gravity? This whole thing? No. That works. This reminds me of a bonus room from Super Mario Odyssey. Was I supposed to bring that thing with me or what? Because <laughs> there's like a bonus room in Mario Odyssey where you have to use um, like the, uh, the dash flowers to go across a room that looks just like this. I don't even know where the hell the, the chest would be in a shrine like this. It's freaking massive. I don't know if I was supposed to bring the cart with me. Because it said the, the shrine was called Courage to Jump. So I thought I had to, you know, jump off the cart to get the momentum to come over here. Was I supposed to bring the cart over with me? Because I didn't know that. Bitch! Where the fuck did you shoot me from? Over there. Well, there's the chest, actually. Mighty Zone 8 shield. 
uh, drop the strong one. I feel like if that pool of lava was not there at the start of the shrine, I would have brought the cart with me. But my instinct was, it's called Courage to Jump. I thought I had to jump across the pit. So I did. I didn't know there was more. It probably would have been really cool to drive a, a cart all the way through here. Thankfully, if if someone's a dumbass like me, they leave another cart here at the end for you, so... Rockets. And this should be fine. Good. Got the chest, we're fine. The shrine is solved, so I'll take it. I found the chest and everything.